sorry about that, but if you can see me now, I've made it back from my first placement outside the country. Don't let me take the uniform home too. When Dad sees it, well, actually I don't, I don't know how he'll react. I'm actually home a week early, so I hope that's a nice surprise. Dad won't do it too good before I left. I'm home now. Love you always. Keep watching over us. Zach Parlo. First off, I'm sorry about having to arrange a new room with you. As discussed when booking, it contains video-only surveillance um, in the event of any sudden flare-ups regarding mental health. From the interactions we've had, you don't show any aggressive or antisocial tendencies, but you have to be aware that when dealing with mental effects relating to audio and visual hallucinations, as well as emotional imbalance, breakdowns and instability are all on the table of chance. It is better for both of us so that I'm protected and you can get immediate help with whatever might be happening. Yeah, that's absolutely the last thing I'd ever want to happen. It's quite awful to think or just know that that could happen to anyone with these issues. Sorry if it seems I've gone a bit pale. It's just uh, the thought of being a danger to anyone to potentially hurt people. You know, it's it's just when I think of my loved ones, then my mum. That's not who she raised me to be. Could never have my own family be afraid of me, especially when it's out of my control. To happen at any time. Try not to focus on it too much. It's better to be in a good headspace. Try not to think about the room as well. You should always remember that we don't have a full pinpoint of possible diagnosis. You might not be dealing with a potential psychotic episode of any kind. Yeah. Schizophrenia and PTSD are of main concern at the moment, but the source of this is seeming more like a deeply traumatic moment relating to a recent passing we talked about. The path the brain takes from these events can also vary, depending on childhood experiences too. My childhood was fine. My both parents in my corner. They loved me, cared for me. There was not a single moment that went by where I didn't see them as my heroes. Perhaps we should look at the notes you brought. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's already on the desk. This happens by the hour. It's non-stop. It hasn't slowed down over the last few months. I think the only time where they don't feel as intrusive is when I'm walking about at night. Is this something that you often do, walking around at night? Yeah. It lets me unwind. Something about the darkness doesn't give me as much sensory input to take in. It's also good to let me unfocus from the stuff I'm I don't mean to dismiss anything that may help, but given the current possibilities with your declining mental well-being, as you've notified within the last few months, we can try and figure out other distresses for you. It's best you're able to take in your surroundings as easy as possible, in case anything happens. I get what you mean. Just lets me distance myself from the illusions. I can still see them, but it's like I'm on the outside, spectating like I'm one of them. Standing by as they consistently torment the same poor sod. I love it when I sleep. I always like to paint that picture in my mind. Your partner? Yeah. She just speaks to me. When the other figures I see L Let's keep focus. Keeping yourself emotionally oh, stable. She looks like she never passed. Uh -oh. I wish she was before she got sick. It's not just that, it's what she was like not long after we met. And not, not only because they were our fondest days, but because the subject is always about the park. Not possibly stop.
startle any of the visceral emotions, but was there any event concerning this past place to anything of what you're experiencing? It could be a key point to breaking through any repressed memories. If that's something you'd be up to, or think is safe enough for your psyche. There wasn't anything traumatic. It was amazing, actually. To go back to that time would be a miracle. To escape from this slow decline. That's all I want. I want to go back to that place. It's like my soul needs it. Needs the closure. If you give some more detail on this park, I or anyone in the community can help. We can offer you some supplies, like comfort items, or have a qualified care of I think I'm some giant. Look, I, I, I understand your feelings on this, but we have to offer these to people who pose potential risks. I'm not a threat to anybody, especially not my own family. Don't you dare try and say that. Hey, sir, you must understand we cannot let you leave in this position. We will be forced to use social services or even the police. Do not go to that park. People could get hurt. You could get hurt. What does that matter? The place is fucking abandoned anyway. is completely oblivious to what is under them. of the place you wanted. How would Kurt feel if he knew how deep in this fucking hole I've gone? Would he even feel safe in his own home? If he knew the words that came out of a shitty tin mouth.
The layout troubles me a bit. But if my memory serves me right, then taking a left here should bring me onto a Z-shaped set of paths. I don't remember there being a whole area here. All that really comes to mind are like an endless sprawl of paths and then this big space with rides, games and a chip shop, which is what I'm trying to get. And the smoke shelter, can't forget that. Not like I were eager to use it anymore though. <laughs> no fucking way, oh, this is not burnt into my mind. I won't ever have a clue. Who the fuck blueprinted this design, my god. Oh, my apologies to the camera, got a bit amused at the fountain looking a bit phallic. <laughs> I work in an office and we pass project design. Sectors and this just reminds me of the rare last we get to have sometimes. Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit of a man child at times, I swear. Good to be happy though. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better after that. to everyone. A lot of you will recognise this little guy in my arms here. For those who don't know who he is, it's the adorable little guy, Stephen the Stoat. That little introduction was for the people who haven't seen the signs and posters of him out and around the park. So as many of you know, Stephen here is soon to be crowned the park mascot, and there'll be a lot going down around him. And it can cause a lot of unwanted stress, and ultimately make him not want to attend the big day specifically made for him. Stephen does have his own life as a stoat in the wild and, well, occasionally comes to visit, as he has developed a loving relationship with his staff here, as you can see. So it's very important we teach our children, and ourselves, to have respect for our fluffy friend here, and to give him plenty of space. Oh, and no yelling around him too, please. Thank you all for your attention, and speaking for everyone who works here at Glendale, we can't wait to see you on the 23rd of this month for the Stephen Coronation. It's a shame, really. No one knows for certain why this place had to close. I don't live too far away, so I get friends who've been here before it shut down. So, I know a few things here and there. And the, the big day coming up, small businesses trying to salvage what they could before they weren't allowed back in. The way they explain it, you'd think they'd found a bomb within the premises and never allowed the public back in. This should be the way I need to go. There's a sign for the next place anyway. Not that I recognise the names either. shouldn't go much further from here. Although, I don't see a big open space. A smoke place. Oh, God, it stinks. Um, anyway, uh, I hinted before about a thing I'm quite proud of. Um, even though things have been quite miserable as of recent. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's just those fucking windows are stained to hell. It's like black mold and shit. Oh, God, it fucking stinks like a nightclub smoking area. Anyway. <coughs> Back to what I was talking about. Um, I quit smoking. Uh, you think I'd be going at the smokes harder given how much they relieve stress, but I found that I was pulling one out every slightest inconvenience I had, which, for my current mental state, was all the fucking time. That and my son is asthmatic. Okay, Jesus, I probably should have said that first. Well, this was my main reason for quitting, and don't worry to whoever's watching this, I just thought it was a more relevant conversation considering what I'm currently going through. Um, 
Uh, well, to add to it, I guess he, my son, he, he's away in a different country training to be part of the military, which I'm beyond happy about. I mean, like, that's him, that's my lads, doing the family proud. I just, uh, I just wish I could tell Amber about what he's become. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep talking and walking along. Given that just about anyone can potentially be watching this, Amber is the mother of my son and the love of my life. Suppose I haven't given much context, but I'm here to speak with her, or at least I really hope I can. She's gained her wings now, but lately I've been dealing with some real bad psychological shit. A lot of it involved seeing things and hearing things and out of all of them that are the most prominent is I see her This is real, but her voice... It, whilst it's nothing like how she personally was, I believe that there was something there. I don't know if it's because of my guilt or my self-destructive thoughts, but her voice is telling me not to go far from here. I think it's finally time for closure, so I can have our son return to a comfortable home for his sake. Our son has made and how proud I am. She'll be even more proud. This is the only thing that will bring solace to my spirit. It has to. I'm, I'm a shattered man with a responsibility to support the soul she entrusted to this world. Amber 
is that you? What am I doing? But I can leave. Just take them with some stuff and uh, I thought this place was empty. Why not after I've finished work in the till? You really want to go back there? No. The others have no respect for people who stand out even the tiniest amount. Precisely the reason I chose a restaurant day for this. I'm sorry you have to deal with them. Don't be afraid to ask for a different role elsewhere in the park. It's fine. It encourages me to be more of myself anyway. <laughs> like, out of spite. Now, look. Before we get ready... Don't tell me you're going to be the one having second thoughts. I'm the one who spends his weekend sleeping right next to that place, and I even hear shuffling on the other side of the door to the cavern. But I'm still eager to waltz on in. No pun intended. If you think I'm open to the idea of being in there for more than a few hours, then admitting to the next person you tell about this place that I'm actively going insane. Then take me back to those asshole co-workers, please. Don't worry, everything's going to be perfectly alright. I may not have told your parents, but I've got every risk accounted for. I only want you to visit the campsite that I've set up inside. You can get a good view of some of the destroyed architecture from there. You camping in there doesn't surprise me one bit. Now, as for why I had us stop for a moment... Do you think you're ready to have a real look into what's been unearthed here? For yourself, this time. If not, I can take photographs, I can I can have them printed in a, in a dark room. I for really you. want to see I... this place. From everything you've told me, and even the pictures you've shown me already, we can pioneer this discovery together. I'm perfectly capable of doing much more than bringing your favourite menu item down then here. what are we waiting for? You're the one who had a stop. Sake. If the only way I can contact her 
things were meant to go smoothly. He always had a strong mind. But don't worry, I won't let him end your life. There's someone going to meet you halfway. By coincidence, but it's perfect. You won't have to worry about him by then. I hope we can meet soon, Zach.